So, how do you read the sacred scrolls, including the Bible? It's simple. Remember that reality did not take a holiday, nor did common sense go out the window. The sacred books are simply guides, and they are not the words of God, unless, of course, they are your words. The sacred books are, of course, very important, as I said before, because they are guides from very wise people that have gone on before you. So when you read the wisdom of the sages, the five most important elements to keep in mind. Number one, God is referring to you and your highest good. Good is God. God is a verb, the act of doing good. Good is God. Number two, Lord is law, spiritual laws. Substitute the word law for Lord when reading the sacred books. No matter where you live in this world, you know instinctively who is good, what is right, what is correct. No one has to explain to you what it means to love, to share, to be kind, to be compassionate, to seek justice, to achieve happiness. Number three. Most High is referring to you doing and acting in a manner that reflects your highest good, your highest ideals, your highest ideals, being the absolute best human being that you can be. Number four, Kingdom is always referring to here and now. Eden is here and now. No matter who you are and no matter how seemingly limited your resources. You, here and now, can utilize who and what you are to achieve your own concepts of your highest good. You're not a copy of anyone. You are unique and special. And finally, number five, you are the center of your universe. As a God doing good, your responsibility is to be unique and do what you know is right. There has never ever been a need for religions. Religions are those who have lost their way. The bottom line has always been twofold. Think for yourself and become the best human being that you can be. But don't believe me. Believe yourself. And that's it.